Hey there, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Vaughn with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today we're going to be talking about black walnuts on Habitat Hints. Really fun topic, as right now is the time of year to get outside and pick those things up. They're probably all over the ground out there. We're going to be talking with Andy Carmack about this, and let's turn this around and talk about black walnut, black walnut trees as well. All right, Andy, so we're talking walnuts. It's actually the time of year to be outside picking them up if you're a walnut walnut fanatic like I know some people are. Yeah. Um, tell us all we want, need to know about walnuts. Yeah, so walnuts here, you can see today's October 1st and it's in prime. The ground is littered with these walnut seeds. You can see them all around here. So this is the black walnut. We're in the Kansas City region. Um, so in the Kansas City region, black walnut is the single most important economic tree. We're not in the deep Ozarks where we have stave quality white oak here. We have a lot of black walnut. And when I go out and talk about black walnut and black walnut management and how to, how to make your property uh, better and how to make your trees um, worth more, that's a, something that I talk to landowners about all the time. So fall is a good time to see and identify black walnuts because obviously you can see the the walnuts right this is mm -hmm. but if it's not fall i'm going to give you a little bit of helpful tips about how you can identify walnut trees so walnut is a single stem tree it comes has nice um, condensed bark but when you break it off it will break chocolate brown you see that right there mm -hmm. so it's one of the few tree species that when you break the bark like this it will be chocolate brown. That's a super easy way to identify a uh, black walnut tree. You can okay. kick, kick the stem, identify it like that. And when we're talking about black walnut, we want to start talking about managing for black walnut because like I referenced earlier, it's the single most economically important tree that we have in our region. So you want black walnut, we want three open sides, at least three open sides. So when we look up at the canopy, say for this tree, we want it open grown on at least three sides. So for this, this right here, this tree, this particular tree is open on three sides. The only side that it's not open on would be this side. But if this was on your property and you wanted to maximize the growth, you need to eliminate the competition around this walnut tree by opening it up on the crown on three sides. What that does, will it will speed up your growth and it'll get your um, stems growing much faster, your walnut trees much faster. It's called the crop tree release. You want to you want to pick the best tree, your walnut tree that you want to eventually have a walnut sale on, and you want to eliminate all the competition underneath it and around it. So, open it up on three sides. I get this question all the time. Well, I have three trees. Can I have a walnut sale? The answer is no. You're not going to get a lot of loggers interested in uh, three a small scale sale like that. Typically they're going to want 40 to 50 upwards of even 100 stems, walnut trees that they want to harvest. And then the next question is how big do they have to be? And I always tell people that the bigger the better, right? So minimum, my recommendation is I don't like any walnut sales with walnut stems less than 18 inches diameter at breast height. So four and a half foot high this tree here would definitely be uh, big enough to have a, a walnut sale mm -hmm. here, but 18 inches would be a minimum for black walnuts. So if you want to learn a lot more about black walnuts and the black walnut management, you can get on our website at www.mdc.mo.gov and or .com and uh, learn. Um, no, you're right, mbc.mo.gov, mbc that's right. Yeah. yeah, and learn a lot more about walnuts and walnut management, as well as the additional resources that are available to you. We have foresters, we have private land conservationists in every county to help you manage your black walnuts. Awesome, awesome. I appreciate it, Andy, and thank you very much. And again, I'm going to echo what he said. Learn all about this awesome tree. This black walnut tree, you can learn more all about it on our website at mdc.mo.gov. And all you have to do is search black walnut and you can learn about that. Also, if you have questions, if you have questions for your uh, private lands conservationist, and if you don't know who that is, you can get on the contact and engage thumbnail that's on top of the uh, on top of our website, uh, on, our pay, on our website page at the top right hand corner, click on it, scroll down and find the county you are at in. 
and you can search and scroll down and find your private lands conservationist so you can contact and get in contact with him. You all have a great rest of the day and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful weather we're having.